Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. Today I'm coming to do the work with me for the name signs that I was cutting out for the graduation prop signs from my Etsy shop. So before we get into the project, we're going to go to the word of the Lord for today. The word of the Lord for today is coming from Psalms 34 verses 1 through 4. And I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought, inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Thank you for the word of the Lord. I have not gotten my scripture for today. I read the scripture for yesterday in the video last night for the, the little peak. So I had to go and find a scripture for today. So I wanted to get get a scripture of thanksgiving and of praise to the Lord because these orders came from my Etsy shop and I'm a new Etsy shop and um, I got, you know, um, six orders for these uh, six, yeah, six orders for these name signs and I'm just grateful to the Lord. So I wanted to read a scripture and reflection of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and um, it might be backwards to you because of the way that I have the camera, but I will show you what the name sign looks like once I turn it around. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And so thank you for joining me today. So here we go. We're going to tilt it down, tilt it down. So let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see. Maybe I will. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can see that. Hopefully it's not crooked or too crooked. I have my little, um, my stand behind a desk. So trying to, okay, I'll just bring it out a little bit. Try to bring it out. Okay, so I have the, I cut out the name signs. Uh oh, that has an eye in it. So this is what it looks like when I mask it. And then it's just painted black on the back. So I'm going to take the masking off. Um, I have a little weed weed pen tool that I got from um, 651 Vinyl when I ordered some vinyl from them. So I'm just going to take the masking off. And the back of it, I didn't put any metallic paint. I just put black paint. And the front of it is... Um, has a metallic paint on it so I did a craft fair um, back in November and a lady I took the sign and she said her son was going to be graduating and she would reach out when her son was ready to graduate because she wanted to order a name sign and um, I kind of forgot about it and um, haven't really been promoting my name signs, just mostly my banks. And so she was true to her word and she reached out. So I wanted it to be on my Etsy shop. So I created an Etsy listing for it. And, um, and she went and ordered it and I sent her the link and she went and ordered it on Etsy. And so she was the only one that I had. And then I ended up getting um, five more orders. So I was grateful for that because it's kind of hard to know with Etsy, you know, I'm new to the whole Etsy thing. So what I put on the back, like I said last night, I put the, um, the 3M so I wouldn't have to figure out where the glue went. And this is the little dot to the eye. Um, so, here's my little dot to my eye, and I'm going to put that on after I get this one off. 
So I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. Um, yeah, so I'm just working on these orders. And um, when I finish them, these orders, uh, one came in Friday night and then uh, four came in on Saturday. And so I'm going to finish these and then get them off to the post office so I can get them mailed out today so I can get a tracking number. Shipping for the post office is just gotten ridiculous and I'm just like, whoo. Um, but these signs, thankfully, I can mail them out for the same price as priority you know, priority mail and regular standard mail is the same price, um, but the priority mail comes with a little bit, comes with a tracking number, so you don't have to pay for a tracking number. So that's, um, that's pretty good. So we will go ahead. So then I just try to... Since this has an eye in it, I need to get this on a solid part of the sign so that the eye will have a place. Uh, so I could have a place for the eye to rest. So I'm going to put that there. Then I'm going to take my eye and get my eye going. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys saw the, um, uh, let's see, my eye is going to go right above, right there. Oh, no, I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, thank goodness I didn't commit to it because <laughs> it's okay. I put it over the end and it goes over this eye. All right. So, this is our first sign, and we will put that one over to the side, and we will get the other ones going, and here's our next sign. Let's see, I, here's, we, it has an eye in this one as well. So, what are you guys working on? Hopefully, you guys are working on some projects as well. I see, um, I've been seeing a lot of different things, a lot of DTF and boy, you get into one thing on, on, um, YouTube and then you watch YouTube videos and then you, people are getting into everything. It's like, they into sublimation one week and then the next week they got DTFs and cricket hat presses and it's like it's so many different things that you can become a part of and I'm like I already have a lot of things going on I don't want to invest in no more different um things get some of the things you already got going going um for for this mom you know I've been working on the items for my mom's party if you've seen some of those videos and I still have one more project to do that I need to get done before um, before this coming week because my niece is coming over to pick it up I still need to make um, I still need to make the napkins I'm going to make some of those sublimation napkins with my mom's picture on them. So stay tuned for that project. I'll probably post post while I'm sublimating them or either post, you know, the finished project because there's videos out there already. But I'll probably, you know, do a video where I sublimate on some of them. So... So I'm hoping that I'll get some more of these orders because graduation is coming up. So hopefully I'll get some more of these orders 
So this project was done. Um, I bought this file for the 2002, the graduation hat. I bought the file off of Etsy. And then I do, okay, where did my little eye part go? Got a little circle for my eye. Um, I do the, um, the name in Silhouette Studio Business Edition because you have to be able to turn it into a SVG in order to cut it out on the Glowforge. So I really like the Silhouette Business Edition. It's really a easy program to use. Um, Inkscape is free, but I never knew how to use Inkscape. I never used Inkscape um, before. I know years ago that the guy, Troy, um, um, Troy Tube, I think his channel is, he um, used Inkscape and he was teaching a lot of the Cricut people um, to use Inkscape. But at that time I had so many cartridges, I never, um, I never needed to like, I never went out to Etsy to buy anything that I needed to make it where it could cut out with the Cricut. So I never kind of got into the whole um, Inkscape. I think that's where a lot of people who use Inkscape got into it because they were using it with Cricut. But I never, I never did. So I used Silhouette for sublimation, but I used the free edition because you just need to print. But then my friend ended up had bought Silhouette and then she bought another one without realizing she already had the business edition. So she had two key codes. So she blessed me with uh, one of the key codes because she couldn't get her money back. She had had it for so long because she had a silhouette and then she didn't get a chance to use it. And then ended up, when she did, she bought another key code. So... I was grateful that she gave me one of the key codes and I was able to use it. Now I need to find, oh, here's my little eye. So now I have another name with this name, Harrison. Let's see. And it has an eye in it as well. So I need to put it on a part of the name sign that I can get the eye on. Let's see where we want to put this one, Harrison. Okay, because here's our eye. So let's put it here. And let's put it right there. And then we could take the eye and put the eye right there. So I've really been enjoying my Glowforge. If you would like a Glowforge, you can um, you can use the code. I'll put the code down in the description, and you can get some money off of a Glowforge for yourself. And the price just did increase. So here's another name sign. So this one is Harrison, and these gold ones, they all came in the same, um, in the same order. And so um, this person ordered three name signs, and then the other, uh, the other ones were um, single orders. But I'm grateful for the single orders, and I'm grateful for the <laughs> the orders with that came with many. So that's what I'm working on today. And after I'm done this, um, I did work on a project Friday with my daughter, but I didn't film that. She was taking her baby to Sesame Street Place. And she wanted a Sesame Street. Well, her friend was going to do the order for her. Because her friend has a Cricut as well. She bought a new Cricut Maker 3. 
but her friend's dog ate the cord <laughs> to her Cricut Maker 3, so she wasn't able to um, complete the project. So they came and she said, my, my mom, she has all that stuff too. So they were like, we're coming down and we need to use your Cricut to, you know, do the shirts. So, of course, I'm like, come along. And then they didn't have all the supplies that they needed. But because I have so many supplies, I blessed them with some of my supplies as well. Because there's no need in having a lot of stuff. You know, if somebody else is in need, it might as well be a blessing to that person. So here is our next one. And this is the last one for this order. So there's no extra names in this one or no extra little where we need to put any eyes or anything for this one. And I love the 3M tape. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's a waste to put it on the whole board. But... Um, I'll use the excess board to cut out hinges for the back of a, like a name sign because it'll already have the 3M. That way I don't waste the 3M. I'll try to use it up to be able to make something else out of it. Or I'm keeping some of the boards to when I get ready to do other stuff. So here is another one. And this is Evan. We are going to put Evan, let's see, I want it to be as straight as possible. So here we go. So leave me a comment. What are you guys working on? What projects are you guys working on? And here's our next sign and it says Evan. And so we have two more. And these ones are a different color. They're the same color, but uh, they're different orders. So let's, we got this one. And so um, I was able to only have to paint two boards when it came down to the names for, I've only painted one board for all the gold ones. And then I painted another board for these two that I'm working on, even though they're two different orders. I was able to get both names out of the same board. So yeah, so my next project I'll be working on, let's see, I have, what do I have on my list? Oh, I have the napkins. I need to cut out the word two to a check that I made that we're blessing my mom with a big check. I made a big check with my Cricut a couple of years ago and uh, we were gonna give her a certain amount of money. All the siblings got together and then my oldest came into some other money that she wants to bless my mom with. So she wants me to take off the 1,000 and make a sign for another amount of money that she wants to add. So my niece is gonna bring me back the check because we're already getting all the stuff together for the venue to take it to the party planner and the venue, so the party planner can um, have all the stuff at the venue that we don't have to transport anything on that day. So since I've done a lot of projects for my mom's party, I will try and, you know, film the venue, film some of it so you guys can see, you know, this party that we, uh, I'm having for my mom. See the, um, see what it looks like with all the little, with the things that I've been creating or just the party in general because I think my sister's putting all the stuff in a swag bag or something. I just make it and give it to them and then they do what they do with it. <laughs> so that's how that goes. I'm just grateful that the Lord blessed me with, you know, the ability to work on some projects 
to be a blessing to my mom and to my siblings. So that's what I'm doing. But I got a whole wall of things that um, I'm going to be working on. I still got a couple of banks I need to make for my son. He's coming into the party. He lives in Texas. And um, I'm in California, and the party's going to be in California. So I need to work on a couple of banks for him that he's going to take back. And um, I've already made a shirt for my daughter. She wrote out a, she made a little um, writing in her handwriting. And then she asked me if I could turn it into a shirt. And I'm like, sure. So I've already done that project for her. So she'll be picking it up when she comes to town and she lives in Maryland. Because she's my Air Force baby. So she lives in Maryland, and then I have a retired Air Force, no, a retired Marine son, and he's stationed in a different part of Texas than my other son. So I'm proud of my children for serving this country, and I'm grateful for their service. So here we go with another one. And so this one is a gold one. I mean, a silver one. And this has an eye in it, so I need to make sure that I put it in a place where I can get that eye to be on there. All right, and we have our little eye, and we are almost done. We have one more. And... Then I will be packaging them up and taking them off to the post office. All right, here we go with this one. And we have it all. There is our next one. Delilah. So we have that one over there. And our last one is for Kelsey. So we are down to the last one. So I'm hoping that um, I will be blessed to get some more name signed orders. If you would like, you have a graduate and you would like one of these name signed props. My Etsy store will be listed down in the description. And you can go to my Etsy store and you can order one of these name signs for yourself. Or if you just want, um, if it's not for a graduation, if you just want a name sign, then I can um, find another file or create a file that just has the 2002 if you have some other special event going on. And you can get an order a name sign. Or if you would like to order some of the banks that I've created, the banks are in my Etsy store as well. And then I have some regular name signs in there as well, along with some scrunchies if you need some scrunchies. And I have a pack of scrunchies that's a great deal. I think there's like 20 scrunchies in the pack for like $35 or something like that. When most people sell them for seven and eight bucks a piece. I do have them singly if you want to buy them singly and I think they're like seven dollars. But if you would like to buy a whole packet and get an extra deal, then you can go and check out and get a, um, and get a packet. And you will get almost all the colors that I do offer. I'm thinking about making some bigger ones, some jumbo ones. I haven't done that yet, but I have plenty <laughs> of fabric to do that. And so, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please take this time and subscribe and come back for more content. I would appreciate that. Hit the bell notification. And if you could, if you could if go over to my Etsy shop and just visit it and just favorite my shop 
I'd appreciate that too. Um, just to favor my shop. And if you see anything that you like, even if you're not going to buy it right now, just favorite the item. And if it goes on sale, I think you get like a, um, you get like a notification. So, um, if you could do that for me, I would appreciate it. If you would go over and like my Etsy shop. And like I said, if you like a Glowforge of your own, if you would, um, you can visit the link in the description and you'll get a discount on getting a um, Glowforge. I'll get a commission and you'll get a discount. Okay, I didn't take off the front. I should have took off the front first, but it's okay. So, let's see. We want to... put Kelsey there and then I will take off the front all right so we'll take off the front masking so I hope you're enjoyed this work with me video as I work with working on my Etsy shop orders I'm so grateful um, to all the youtubers out there who um, Give us good content to teach us how to open Etsy shops and everything. Here is our last sign. And so thank you for joining us today with all of our Etsy orders. So that's it. That's all I have for you today. I have my whole little pile of papers that I'm going to throw in the trash. If you notice, this is my room where I do my Glowforge. My Glowforge is over there. I have a new shelf that I put in to put all my wood on for my Glowforge. Some of it is wood that I've already um, used and cut out. But I just keep them so I can go back and cut other things out of them so I try to put all my little I try to put all my stuff on there over in that corner I have my uh I have a double oven double door oven that I use to do my tumblers in and on the top of there I have my mug press um I really would like a cricket mug mug press um, but I have that mug press. The reason I haven't bought a Cricut mug press. And then over in that other corner over there, there's Big Blue, <laughs> which everybody knows Big Blue is my heat press. <laughs> so that's my heat press machine. So yeah, so I've been trying to clean up and straighten up and become a little bit more organized. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want a Glowforge, the link will be in the description. If you are looking for, um, I would like, if you would like to go over and um, look at my Etsy shop. And then when you're there, just if you could favorite my shop, I would appreciate it. And thank you for watching. God bless. You have an awesome and an amazing day. Bye, friends.